and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Monday the 12th of September. The local media headlines today. The death of the Queen continues to dominate the news both locally and nationally, with civic leaders across Cornwall proclaiming the start of the reign of King Charles III. Church bells have tolled, flags have been flown at half-mast, and the period of national mourning will continue until the Queen's funeral next Monday, which will be an official holiday. For most of us, this week will be a normal working week, but maybe not for Cornwall Council, which is still considering whether or not to cancel a couple of important meetings thereby dodging some potentially tricky questions. The Isles of Scilly Council has already decided to scrap its full council meeting, which will delay its response to questions over how it'll progress bids to fund replacement ferries. One thing we do know is that Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton have become the new Duke and Duchess of Cornwall, benefiting from the billion pounds a year business. The St Ives Times and Echo came out on Friday and led with news about the town's former Edward Hayne hospital building. It looks like a community group has managed to buy it and will use it as a health and well-being centre. Pirate FM reported an attempted armed robbery at Helston. The Falmouth Packet covered a story about a man who cycled from Shetland to Land's End. The BBC struggled to find any stories at all which were not about the Queen. And finally, Cornwall Live has a list of things which have been cancelled. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye. Thank you.